our channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So I'm filming in the afternoon and I've got myself some tea and my lovely Starbucks mug. Um, yeah, gold, I couldn't resist. And speaking of gold, that kicks off our topic for today. So I got some new jewelry. Let me backtrack for a second here. So one of my goals in 2018, as you will hopefully have seen in my life update video, um, and if you haven't, I'll leave that link down below so you can find out what my plan for the year is, what things I'm focusing on, what things, um, or rather resolutions I did not make, and I do realize it's a bit delayed, but um, they're goals for the entire year, so it doesn't mean you have to make them on day one, okay? Okay? All right, anyway, I digress. So one of my goals is to support small brands, and I wanted to kick off today's video with two small brands that I recently have been getting to know and that I decided to try out. Now, one of them involves gold, and the other one is just a general pampering uh, venture because I have been searching high and low for some products that will revive my crusty winter face <laughs> and I'm hoping I have found that brand. Now I haven't actually tried out these products so I will definitely do another sort of update or if you watch my vlogs kind of work it in there how I end up liking it but I thought I would do an unboxing here on this channel just to sort of see what arrives, how it looks, what kind of branding this brand has, because I for myself personally find really exciting kind of seeing how small brands already market their products, even if they don't have the power of the big corporation behind them, but just, you know, what little efforts they make to involve you, to kind of get you into the brand so that you get to know it, and yeah, so let's get into it. Let's unbox. I'm super excited. I literally, I got this package and almost unwrapped it because I really just really want to try out these products, but I, I waited, except for the jewelry. So let's start with that. So the first brand that I will start off with is one that I've already mentioned and I'm currently also already wearing. The brand is, so I lied, I didn't completely hold off opening packages. I actually could only control myself around the skincare because side note it arrived today so it really wasn't that hard to control myself. And um, when this when this jewelry package arrived, I had to tear it open because, yes, gold packaging. That's right, it matches the product inside. And I'm probably going to murder the name, I'm very sorry, but Izaskun Zabala, um, yeah. Obviously, I'm not pronouncing that right. Or IZ Jewelry for short, which is the title on all their emails, so I think I'm allowed to use that. So let me backtrack. I discovered this brand for myself a couple of months ago. In the fall, I went to like a creative market, and the female powerhouse behind this brand um, was there selling her jewelry. And what really drew me in is the clean sim simplicity of the pieces and the fact that they're gold, because that's kind of the main color of jewelry I tend to wear. I don't know why I settle on gold for jewelry and silver for home, but it just happened. I might have to do something with the fact that my wedding ring is gold, so it kind of just informs the rest of the ensemble. And I was drawn in by these really beautiful looking minimalist jewelry pieces, and then I met the woman who designs them, who was selling them there, and she was amazingly nice and kind of walked us through her collection. So I've actually pulled up the about page of her of her brand to give you a little bit about this design brand. Okay, that was probably not a great way of putting it, but so it was launched in 2013. It's New York City based, so both of these brands are from New York City. They're both from Brooklyn, and um, the packages came amazingly fast for that reason. I should have just gone and picked them up, but anyway. Um, and it balances sophistication, femininity, and captures influence of the cosmos, inspired by the interface between physical realm of creative magnificence and the cosmic forces surrounding us. So, a lot of her Instagram, which I also follow, really picks up on the ideas of the cosmos and kind of the forces that you don't see, that she tries to capture with the gemstones in her jewelry, um, and just the designs in general. Now, I can't afford the gemstone ones, but I also really prefer her simpler, 
uh, designs because I like straightforward gold jewelry and I like it to feel nice and I'm gonna take this off so see how easy that came off if anybody is scared of a choker it does not choke this one this one is very safe if you get stuck on something boom you're good but anyway so it's very you can feel that it's substantial um, and I, I can't remember the exact name of the things I got so I will leave whoop, excuse me I will leave all of them in the description box below um, so that you can shop if you want to or just take a look and get to know these products better but yeah so this is the choker it's probably not going to be able to focus but that's all right it's um, I would say like a quarter inch diameter and it's solid it doesn't feel hollow at all and also the sides the sides are flattened so that they don't hurt you when you're putting it on. So it just sits really nicely. And I've paired this with um, simple gold chain necklaces and it looks really nice, in my humble opinion. But let me show you how the rest of this packaging looks. So it came in a lot of bubble wrap because um, obviously gold jewelry is pretty soft and so you have to protect it from bending, etc. So we've got some bubble wrap in there. and. Also some cardboard, also important. And then we've got this little jewelry pouch. And I've left one piece in here to show you basically the packaging and it is this. So the pieces that I got are basically a pair of earrings a pair of ear cuffs and this necklace. The earrings are what I bought in the fall and that's what really got me into the brand. So those you'll have seen in the cutaways at the beginning but there are these little, what's the best way of showing this? Triangle, they almost look like lightning bolt earrings but they look really cool when you're just wearing them like this. And they're enough to make a bit of a statement, but you can definitely still wear them during the day. So let me attempt to put these on. So this is how it looks. Um, it's probably a bit hard to see with the lighting in here, but they're like little daggers out of your ears. So they're a bit edgy, which I like. And they go perfectly with these ear cuffs. And when I got the earrings, I saw the ear cuffs already and I tried them on and I loved them but I didn't want to spend that much so I just got the earrings you know how it goes and then I couldn't stop thinking about them so I started following her Instagram and lo and behold there was a sale so Chantal goes online and she buys what she has been wanting all along now there are two sizes of these cuffs which really confused me and I'm going to show you the size difference somehow uh, Let's see. So we've got the small and the medium here, and those are the only two sizes. And I was a little confused as to which one I needed, so I bought both. Also, excuse my hair today, I don't know what's happening. Lots of dry shampoo, that's one thing that's happening, but it's just not happening very well. So I'll put these on. So the first one is the little one, and this actually fits perfectly, and I would say if you're deciding between the two and you have ears similar to mine, um, you know, estimate based on the size of this video times reality. And um, this this fits pretty securely. It does pull off pretty easily, as you can see, but it doesn't fall off when I move. I've actually already worn this out one day walking around the city in, um, uh, in a vlog. So check that out. I'll also leave that link down below, shameless plug. And it was fine. You do have to be careful about it snagging on like a scarf or long hair and I was very self-conscious all day kind of like touching it but it stayed so that was good. And then this one which I also love but unfortunately it's a little too big for me right here. I feel like that really completes this like pointy ensemble. Let me get closer. I am obsessed with how that looks. Now I didn't wear this out because it does have a tendency to kind of slide down on me and this really pulls off very easily. It's already fallen on the carpet when I was wearing it around my little tiny living room. Slash so it's 
it's actually not a living room it's actually a carpet in a studio but you know spatial divisions um <clears throat> so i'm trying to figure out whether i should like bend it a little but it just looks too nice and make it look crooked or i don't know i don't know if you have any good suggestions about how to make this fit better comment below help a girl out um <clears throat> but for now if i don't do any any stuff with my hair around it i think it'll stay so that is the year collection and then i think it goes really well with this and then if you pair it with some more necklaces you just it's just really nice so i love this i um i think i believe that on sale you can't return her items unless you have a good reason i didn't try just because i do really love um this ear cuff it's just a little too big but i'm gonna make it work so um that's the only downside to shopping on sale, but it was a really good deal. They were both 50% off, so this was 190 originally, which is a little outside of what I usually pay for jewelry. So this is discounted to $90, and I have to say for the quality, I think it's absolutely worth it. And then these earrings are originally, I think, 100 or 110 um, and I did pay full price for them, although, actually no. So they were 10% off at the fair, which was a nice little carrot. Uh, and motivator to actually spend the money and then these were each 25 because they're also both half off they're usually 50 so you know if, if it's something that you might lose it's probably a good thing I only paid half for it but regardless I love them so I think this brand is beautiful so that's brand number one and now let's move into the other one so I'm gonna just block out my address <laughs> but it came in a box like this and the brand's name is Palermo Body and it's a brand that I also saw in passing last year didn't really think much of it but it came back into mind because I found a little card that I had kept with the title on it and one of the main issues I've been having is my skin has been so so dry and I've tried out like a really high-end lotion, a very cheap lotion, a mid-range lotion over the past few weeks, but they've all been sort of small travel size ones, and I think that my skin is just getting whiplash from having so many products used. I've tried to exfoliate, I've tried serums, spray water, whatever that was, um, and it's just not working. I have this like weird dry patch, um, TMI, but it's, it's uh, reality, and this is real life right now. Um, I have this like random dry patch right here and just in general my face has been super dry. It seems like whatever cleanser and lotion combination I try to use is just not working out. So I thought I'd go natural. And this brand is an all natural product and again I've pulled up the brand website in order to give a little backstory. So it uses all natural products, again it's from Brooklyn. And they have uh, things ranging from little kits that are like, you know, all for me kit or, you know, little gift ideas that have some of their products in the smaller sizes. And then I believe they also sell nail polish, um, facial soaps, which is something I got as well, uh, serums, a toner, a body oil, body scrubs, and these aromatherapy oils that are supposed to sort of help you with different ailments and they also sell those as a set or um, they have bath um, powders <coughs> and bath salts. Oh, struggling. The founder of this brand is named Jessica. They're based on the idea of holistic living and <clears throat> they basically use all um, natural oils and products so that your skin doesn't get exposed to any unnecessary chemicals. So without further ado, into this box. So when you open it up, this box looks like nothing special, but when you open it up, it's already beautiful. So when I saw this and I received it and I got to this point, I thought to myself, dang it, I'm gonna have to leave this close so you get the full experience. 
So behind the tissue paper, I guess for you and I, it's both going to be a surprise, is this. So similar to the other package, it comes with these little branded postcards. Now, you didn't see it for the other one, but you know, just, just trust me. It was there, I just tossed it accidentally. Oh, I did get off topic, didn't I? Okay, so <clears throat> my point with the handmade uh, comment from earlier was that because they're handmade gold jewelry and some of them include gemstones, you have to be very gentle with the products and can't use any kind of chemicals, you shouldn't shower with them and just generally use common sense when you wear the jewelry. Don't try to, you know, expose it to unnecessary stress because since it is pretty soft, um, it, it will probably bend or get damaged and corrode or something like that. So including the earrings, you have to be very careful when you put on the backing that you don't bend the, um, what is that called? The thing that goes through your ear. Uh, I will say it's pretty stable. I actually ordered earrings from another brand, which I won't mention here because I sent them straight back, that bent, one of them came bent with the backing and the other one bent as I tried to put the back onto the earring. So these ones are much more stable and I do think they work very well. You just have to be very careful um, and think about the future if you use them a lot. So. That's the first thing, and it comes with a Vitality Aromatherapy Oil. And it says it's for spontaneity and inner confidence, jasmine, sandalwood, and cardamom. And it is a romantic blend to spark curiosity. So, and it is an oil for a touch of spirit. So to apply this oil, you use the pulse points, the temples, and the chest, deep breathly and enjoy, uh, deep breathly. Breathe deeply and enjoy. So I didn't order this, it just came in the pack and it's a really nice little size tester. Let me give that a whiff. Mmm, that smells really good. It smells very fresh and very relaxing, which is something I definitely need because it is, it is full disclosure Friday, 4 or 5 p.m. and I've had a long week, so I'm gonna definitely give that a little test drive right after this video and then the postcard says oh that's really cute so it's actually personalized what a nice touch it's Chantal thank you so much and enjoy and a Palermo beauty card or sorry the Palermo body card says we are dedicated to bringing you the highest quality truly natural skincare our products are thoughtfully formulated made by hand in Brooklyn New York so that actually is the card um, I had a similar one lying around and then rediscovered it and decided to give this a try. And then it has my order receipt and then a whole bunch of confetti. So this is, this is a test. Will I spill it or won't I? I'm actually going to use this tray next to me, which I so thoughtfully set up so that I don't have to sleep in this tonight. And the packaging is also just as beautiful as the rest of the branding. So there are the packages. I bought two things. I bought the serum, actually three. So I got the Travel Size Regenerative Facial Serum, which also came on a card like this. And it's a little tiny tube, mostly because I wanted to make sure that it works on my skin before I commit to the full, um, the full size. The full size of the serum is 75, I believe. <clears throat> I'd have to check um, what the size is. I cannot remember. Oh, what is this hair doing in the back? Does anybody have trouble styling hair? I have been making more of an effort. I actually curled my hair twice last week, which is twice more than normal. Um, and I've been getting more and more into it, but I just need some more ideas. So if anybody has some fun short hair ideas, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, so that's the Regenerative Facial Serum. It has rose hip and CO2. Let's, let's have a little read for uh, a description from somebody who knows a lot more about this than I do. This concentrated blend of of botanical oils are rich in omegas and vitamins that renew and regenerate delicate facial skin cells. 
these ones. Uh, super critical CO2 rosehip oil hydrates and restores elasticity for truly healthy, resilient skin. To use, apply after cleansing and toning. Apply four to five drops to face, under eyes, and neck. Use daily for best results. So, this is step number three in the beauty regimen that they describe, which is not that bad. I've, I've seen a lot longer stepped regimens. So I did actually buy all three steps. And um, the first one, the first one is this. So the facial serum is sort of the last uh, cherry on top of a very natural sundae. But um, the first step, I actually, I use a variety, or I've tried a variety of different facial cleansers, and I used to have problem areas right here when I was a teenager, um, and I think it's made my skin pretty sensitive, and I used to think I have very oily skin, but I think I actually have more combination or leaning towards dry skin, so the cleansers I use I feel are a little bit too aggressive, and I'm hoping that this one will fix that and be a lot more gentle. So it's actually a soap bar, which was surprising to me. Um, I've never had facial soap, but it smells literally amazing. Like, if you love lavender, it smells like you're in a field of that. It's lavender and sage with white clay. They have a lot of different versions of this facial soap, so they don't really have any other versions of the serum, but they do have different soap types depending on what you feel like your skin needs. And this one is supposed to be calming and soothe irritation and add moisture. The white clay cleanses impurities from your skin while lavender flowers gently exfoliate. This bar is ideal for sensitive or dry skin, which is why I went for it. And the ingredients are, and this is a good sign that I can pronounce them all, saponified olive, coconut, sustainable palm and castor oils, shea butter, white kaolin clay, lavender flowers, lavender oil, and clary sage oil. And they are all organic. So, Smells amazing, it feels very soft. Okay, the battery light is flashing at me. That was the, whoops. So that was the facial soap, and I'm going to try to talk through this product, the last one, quickly so that this video doesn't have a premature end. This is the second product, or rather, I guess the third I'm describing. And it is the Hydrating Facial Toner, Rose Water, Chamomile with Aloe, and Witch Hazel. Oh no, I ripped the packaging. It looks like this, so obviously much bigger than the serum, and it has ingredients that I just read, um, and a little bit more than that, but I think those are the main ones. And it says, shake well before use, after cleansing, spritz liberally over face and neck, follow with serum. So my plan is to use that soap, then spritz, 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 and that's supposed to kind of close up your pores, and uh, witch hazel is actually also anti-inflammatory, and I guess chamomile is calming. So overall, it's supposed to like soothe your skin, cool it down, um, and relax it, and then I will follow it up with the serum for moisture, and again, relaxing, um, and hopefully that will fix my winter skin problem. Now, obviously I haven't used these yet. I am going to spray this because I'm curious to see what it smells like. Mm, so it smells very natural. I'm usually a person that prefers something like sunscreen as a smell and not so much like rose and flowers, but I think I'm willing to give this a, a whirl. I have been using like other lotions, all kinds of other lotions that have different smells, so I'm not too bothered by it. Um, and this actually smells really good. And this one I think I'm going to have to see on my skin how that smells to me because it always is a little bit different when you actually apply it. But if it fixes this, then I'm willing to kind of take a more natural smell on. Some of you might actually love that, and that's great. Um, and then it's just an added bonus. So these are the three products from this brand, and I'm very excited to give them a try. If you enjoyed seeing about these two brands, and you know them or want to try them out, leave a comment below. My battery is flashing, so please hit the subscribe button for more. And if you have questions about my lipstick, it's YSL and it'll be linked below as well. I hope you guys have a great afternoon or whatever time of day it is, and I will see you again next time. Bye!